crew is go for spacewalk. This morning, the Polaris Dawn space explorers are making history. <laughs> Stepping out of their SpaceX Dragon capsule. EV-1 is go. For this record-breaking voyage, it's the riskiest maneuver yet. The spaceship does not have an airlock. Dragon, you are go to open hatch. So the crew had to decompress and open the entire capsule. Bleeding out oxygen, all four members of the crew suited and exposed to the vacuum of space. They explained it all here on Today. Mm -hmm. All of us will get suited in these brand new spacesuits mm -hmm. before we vent the spacecraft and then go outside. Billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman and SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis venturing outside the capsule and relying on their new slimmed down suits only attached to an oxygen line. The mission also puts those space suits to the test for potential future SpaceX missions to the moon and Mars. Preparing for this moment in a pre-breathe process, the astronauts had the nitrogen removed from their blood, avoiding decompression sickness, the same illness that can affect scuba divers. The Polaris Dawn astronauts setting off to space on Tuesday, breaking records, flying higher in orbit than any humans since Apollo, seen here orbiting in space on their third day of the mission. Jared Isaacman, the commander. For Jared Isaacman, this is his second trip he's paying for on a SpaceX rocket. He told NBC News earlier why this mission is so critical. We we're doing things that haven't been done in, you know, a half a century. Um, and the idea, hopefully, is we learn a lot from it. Before this historic spacewalk on board the Dragon capsule, crew member Anna Menon hosted a very special story time. Gather round, my sweet dragons. Your mama is back. The SpaceX medical officer read her book, Kisses from Space, to a select group back on Earth, including her own children and children with cancer. Proceeds from the book will benefit the St. Jude's life-saving work. Higher and higher, we rose to the sky. For the Polaris Dawn crew, this mission is about more than distance. It's about connection. Yeah, they've done that. Okay, live images right now, and the images are changing fast, but the crew is now back inside their capsule. You can see they are still all suited up right now because they are still exposed to the vacuum, or at least trying to repressurize, I should say, the, the spaceship itself. And the bottom line is they're checking for air leaks. Once they're completely confident that the spaceship is secure, then they can essentially take off their helmets. But Isaacman will command two more Polaris missions after this one. And one of those missions could be to orbit the moon as well. You guys, back to you. Man, that's cool. That's amazing. That's just so, so cool. cool. Yeah. And happening right now. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.